John O'Neillan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a great pleasure to be able to be the last speaker on the second reading of this bill uh, and to sort of put the record straight a little bit if I can. I think what we have lost sight of in this debate, or certainly the members opposite have, is that this bill is about delivering a better, more flexible, more responsive uh, social housing for New Zealand, and particularly for vulnerable New Zealanders. Mr Speaker, this is not about flogging off state assets. This is about developing better systems. Uh, it's about uh, enabling other players to play a part in social housing within New Zealand. Now, I know that um, you know, back in the 1930s, um, Michael Joseph Savage came up with a very good idea that was state housing in New Zealand, and it served a very good purpose. But the members opposite, who seem to be bereft of any new ideas, want us to keep doing things the way they have always been done. But they just want to stick to the, sa the same ideas that were done back in 1930, and that's all that could ever be done and could ever be done in New Zealand. But, Mr Speaker, New Zealand is an innovative country. New Zealand is a, is, a, is, a, is a kind of a culture here where we say we want to find better ways to do things. We don't just want to settle for what's always been. We want to do things better. We're going to do things better. We're going to be more responsive, and we're going to deliver a better outcome for people in New Zealand. Mr Speaker, that is the guts behind this bill. That is exactly what we're trying to do. We're going to ensure that we don't just stick to the same old ideas. Mr Speaker, this is a very good bill, and I commend it to the House. The question is that the, the question is that the amendments recommended by the Social Services Committee by majority be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. The contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Noes have it, and a party vote is called for. The clerk will conduct a party vote.